Welcome to my All the Mods 9 playthrough. Now there is a restriction I want to place on myself solely for me. I usually rely heavily on mystical agriculture. This time I want to avoid using it for simple things like iron, gold, emeralds, diamonds, etc. I want to explore more mods and find different ways to get these resources. We will allow cheats just due to the fact that this is a mod pack that is still in beta and issues may arise so we want to have the ability to fix things if they do end up breaking while we're playing the game. Now for our seed we're going to go ahead and just run with slick playthrough ATM9 if you want to use the same seed as me. We're going to leave bonus chest off we're not going to change any other rules for the world and we're just going to go ahead and create it. All right and we are in looks like we spawned on a snowy beach. Now this could be very useful later on to come back to since all of that packed ice is over there. That's going to be really useful later when we get into power generation. So in this first video, I'm going to be doing a bit of voiceover as well as using bits and pieces of my mic that I had active when I was recording. I've got a new mic since then and the old mic was cutting out quite a bit while I was recording this. So if it did cut out, while I was saying something important, I'll go ahead and voice over that in post, explaining what I was doing or what I was thinking at the time. Um, okay. All right. First things first, as always, you break a tree, right? And now you make a crafting table. What do you do after a crafting table in all the mods nine? You make a crafting table on a stick. You can bind this um, and put it in your curio slot as well. Then you can open your crafting table wherever you go. So we're in a snowy plains. I do, I'm going to be coming back here later to get all of that ice. I don't recall who it was from. First thing they did was create a mine colonies supply ship. This has a ton of useful things on it. And when we find where we want to build, we will go ahead and plop this thing down. And we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and open up our map real quick. Okay, so we see over here, there's some green because we are in a very dead area so let's go ahead and go towards some green shall we typically i usually build underground i know a lot of people do this you just build a huge lab underground and that's just where you stay for the majority of your playthrough so i'm going to try and avoid doing that this time i kind of want to break out of my norm for what i do typically in mod packs so we found some sort of mage tower inside of these mage towers they have a few of these apotheosis gems that you can pick up off the wall Later, you can use those to slot them into your items once you start enchanting them um, with the Apotheosis Essences. If you come up one of these towers and you see the bookcases and a chest here, be careful. My first time messing with this mod, I fell for this. So, just go ahead, mine up these bookcases, and there's your trap right there. Two TNT, or actually three TNT it looks like. Whatever my mind there. Yeah, it looks like it's stacked into that. So, yeah, just be careful. <laughs> be careful. They, they, uh, they're they trying to get you with that one. Uh, ooh, okay. So, we got a diamond. This slingshot fires you. Oh, okay. So, it's like a slime sling almost. Scavenger one. That might be nice to have a little early on to put on a weapon. Temptation. Maybe I'll put that on a hoe later. Take some gold, iron, and diamonds. Beautiful. Okay, well, I do not have a bed, so that is unfortunate. Is there any other way to make a bed or any kind of sleep sleeping bag? I think these all take wool. Yeah, they do. They all take wool. Okay, so I'm not going to be a punk and just stay in here until uh, daytime. It's going to be super dangerous out there, but... We will do our best to manage. I would really like a backpack right now. I think what I'm going to do actually is go ahead and add a backpack to my left slots here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get going. I already see mobs up in the up in the map. Okay, uh, copper here. Copper is super useful early on, mainly because of the uh, everything is copper mod. It gives you some nice armor. You know, it's not too bad. And also the ore hammer, which is really nice. So this copper ore hammer here, you make this, which is two blocks of copper, and you can turn any ore into dust. It's very nice. So essentially any raw 
ore that you get, you can turn it into two dust instead of getting only one. We're going to try to cheese this bad boy. Where did he go? Where'd you go, bud. I heard you. Oh, there you are. Ooh, he teleported. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Ooh. Oh, you're a sneaky fellow, huh? It'd be really nice to get an early um, ender pearl here. And you drop nothing. Nice. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> ah, yep. I knew it. I don't even know where the hell he is. You bastard. You shot me in the back when I wasn't even looking, man. Oh, it's an undead knight. Oh, no, no, no. The undead knight's over there. So, whoever was down here. I I felt that, you know. I, I, I seen it coming, man. <laughs> I'm a seer. Oh, man. We were playing during the Halloween update. And, oh, the, the freaking... There was a spirit that would spawn. I think it was from the mod Corail Tombstones. There was a spirit thing that would spawn... And I remember my buddy told me, if you just pray at the tombstones, you'll be fine. So I was praying at the tombstones, and that damn spirit would just show up in the middle of me mining, or mining my own business, and it would scare the crap out of me over and over. I was so upset. Oh, look, Jack Lantern. Can I... I'd probably want the pumpkins for something, so I'll drop the elderberries here. Ooh, you got... You ain't got the aim, son. Can't hit me. Chickens over here. And chickens always elude me too. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to find these these guys later on when I'm trying to make spawn eggs or something. I would almost guarantee that. Oh, this is a pumpkin patch biome. I've never seen one of these. Is this from Biomes of Plenty? Yeah, Biomes of Plenty, pumpkin patch. You see it down there uh, on the left side. Yeah, very nice, very cool. Okay, how far are we from our spawn now? Oh, we, we're quite a ways. We might want to head over this way. Oh, that looks like a little uh, dungeon, a roguelike dungeon. Be cool to explore, and I don't know what that structure is. Um, there's polished sand, though, or polished stone. This biome looks cool. I don't know what biome that is. Uh, Yellowstone region. Okay, down at the bottom, you can see that. All right, I'm going to continue exploring, and I'm going to go up this way. Ooh, a wraith. You drop. What is that? Oh, hell. Oh, you're mad. Oh, nice, a leather chest plate. Okay. Wraith heart. Go ahead. Oh, we got a... We got a green? From a random mob, we got a... Well, I guess he had it on, didn't he? That's pretty lucky for us to get what he's wearing as a drop. Drop his arrows. Take the bones. I don't know what that Wraith Heart's used for, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Now, I've noticed that there's quite a lot of jagged edges here. Let me see if I can fix that with the shaders. What's that aliasing? Okay. TAA. Okay, this will sharpen... Um, the images, but also will blend them, so it's not as rough. Okay, that looks much better already. Nice, very nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was gonna that was gonna bother me if we didn't change that. Ooh, that's um, it's from that other. There's another. Ooh, why are there no creeper explosions? It's odd. Dark oak. Yes, this is my favorite wood in the game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and boop. And we'll just drop those as well. Get some dark oak. Uh, I want these saplings. Spruce sapling. I want to keep the spruce saplings because I do believe I'm going to need different types of wood later on for some other mods. Um, keep those saplings. What do I drop here? Though? I guess the jack o' lanterns. That would have been nice to have in our little house, though. Okay, dark oak again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ooh, Ars Nouveau. I might want to go ahead and yoinky-sploinky this. 
top of that. Grab some lazy marked wood. I didn't even get a sapling. Still no sapling. That is unfortunate for me. Huh. That's another spruce sapling. Maybe. Do I get a sapling now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, alright, cool. We got a sapling. So I'm gonna just drop that. I'll probably just continue to drop those. Um, because we don't we don't necessarily need them right now. And I am I am noticing that my tools are rather low. So what we might want to do is go ahead and make one of these. So since we found that iron, that one iron ingot, it's gonna be really nice. We can go ahead and make the crude repair kit instead of going um yeah, I believe this is the upgraded one. Let me just check. Yeah, because there's a very crude. So we can do the crude repair kit. This will be nice for us. I'll go ahead and just drop that. And go ahead and go here. Cool. And just fill this up. Just balance the grid. Boom. Okay, it's full. All right. Okay, there's the roguelike that we were looking, that we saw on the map. And we still haven't found any sheep. Well, we found those ones earlier um, at night, but kind of got turned around. So I didn't end up going that way. It's a nice little cave. I don't really want to go in here right now. It could be nice for gear, but uh, I would like to find somewhere to put down a base. It's a nice little starting hovel. It could be a, a dirt house. It doesn't matter. Just needs we just need somewhere to call home. I would really like to do it near a village. Now before I continue, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. See, look at that. Boom! Beautiful. Oh my goodness. So nice. Yeah, this grass is dangerous, man. You could fall in a big hole. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, that's a tiny one, but you know you know what I mean. Oh, there's a village over there. Look at the map. Look at that. That's so cool. That village looks so nice. Oh, is this a, is this a thumbnail moment? Can I do like the camera thing? Do the zoom? Whoa. Just turn off the HUD real quick. Whoa. My first village. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> oh, if you're wondering about my avatar, this is Rimuru from, uh, Tensura, reincarnated as a slime. One of my favorite animes of all time. If you love isekais, anything like that, I highly recommend you check it out. The animation's amazing. The voice acting is great. The world building and character uh, character development are awesome. I highly recommend you check it out if you're an anime fan. And if you're not, you know, it could be the one that gets you into it. So let's go ahead and get over to this village and hopefully not fall into any holes. That would be ideal. Let's see what's going on here. Is this a legitimate village or a mine colonies? It looks like it's a legitimate village. Oh, this is so nice. Look, it's our first village, guys. That's so cool. Very nice. Okay, so adjusting my shaders from um, ultra back down to high, I gained quite a few frames already. Look at this, the beautiful standard Minecraft bed. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, we got some pants. Very nice. Iron forged pants. So these are the normal upgrade. And as you see, the normal upgraded grade added one plus one armor. So that's cool. What did this one add? Plus one armor as well. And cooldown reduction and knockback resistance. Cooldown reduction, I don't exactly know what that's for yet. Um, but it's something. So I'm just gonna yoink this bed. This is my bed now. This is my house now. So whoever was here, uh too bad. This is mine now. Just get bent. I don't, I don't care. What you got going on here? You got a nice furnace? Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to drop the coal into here. And we're just going to have that smelting up while we do some exploring. Got some new pants here. I don't think I'm going to take those. They might be green rarity, but the armor is less. And I don't really need the cooldown reduction. Got some bread and potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and take those for me. Those are going to be really nice. You can grow some potatoes later. Maybe use that for power. Or watermelons. Oh, and we get a nice sturdy bee cage. That's going to be really huge early on once I want to start getting into bees. Bees can be very annoying to get into, so getting a sturdy bee cage right off rip is going to be really, really cool.
Okay, more potatoes, bread, another sturdy bee cage. Very nice. It's gonna be very helpful. Oh, a helmet. How do I how do I put this on from here? Don't know if I can. Okay. Nice, we got a helmet. Well, it looks like it's sunset, so we're gonna go ahead and go over back to this house. This is a cute little village, man. I like this. Go back over to this house and just take a <clears throat> take a nap and go explore for some cows because I would really like. So right now we're gonna go ahead and drop off a lot of our loot here. If you break the looter chests, uh, keep in mind that they do lose all the items that are still in there. But if you crouch and break it, you will actually get a chest from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop some loot off here. I broke the looter chest just so you know it wasn't an instanced chest anymore. Um, just so I can place my stuff in there. I don't, I don't have to worry about any kind of weirdness going on where maybe my loot gets deleted or something like that. Okay, we'll just throw all of that stuff in here. Okay. Now, let's go. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to go ahead and set a slash home here just for now. Since this is where our humble beginnings will start. Okay, let's go ahead and do some exploring. I do not like this tall grass. Oh my goodness. Village, this looks so nice. It's a nice village I could do without the tall grass, but you know, it's a nice little village. And there's a guy, oh, what are you doing up here, buddy? Are you okay? I'm gonna just take you. So the way I was able to just grab that villager right there is because there's a mod in the pack called Easy Villagers. And what that allows you to do is you can grab villagers and you can make machines out of the villagers uh, to get things. There's things like an iron golem farm, there is a breeder, there's an incubator, all kinds of things that you can use that are actually very helpful. And we'll definitely be getting into that later on in the playthrough. Oh, would you look at this? There's the Blue Skies house over here. Let's see what we can yoink from this dude. Okay, we got some Ventium. That's from his biome. And some baked potatoes. Very nice. We're just going to, uh, you don't, you don't need this, right? Just I'm just gonna acquire, just, I'm just gonna acquire that and take your portal. Yeah, cause that, that's nice, that's mine now. Okay, let's go ahead and eat this book. Oh, look at that, our first two hearts. Isn't that beautiful? Now there's a villager here that you can trade with and he actually has a special flint and steel that you need with the bricks that I just broke to go to a specific dimension that is added by the Blue Skies mod pack. There are two different portals you can find, and you can only find them when you find these specific houses here. I've messed with the Blue Skies mod before a little bit, but I don't really think I'm going to mess with it too much in this playthrough, but you never know. We'll see what happens. All right, there are no mobs uh, on the map right now. Ouch. We're gonna keep looking. I think that's the Greg Tech Iron, or is that magnetic ore? Let's go check it out. You are coal ore. What is this? Does you just give me coal? Is that what you do? Are you? Whoa. Are you just coal? Okay, raw coal. All right. See, that was a ton, man. Oh, another huge vein. Oh, let's go. Well, we've got some early coal. <laughs> so that's nice. Let's see if there's another large chunk over here that's kind of good. Oh my goodness, there is. Well, I broke my tool, but that is okay. Because we have our repair kits. Alright, let's keep going here. Now, finding this early source of coal is going to be pretty awesome later when we start getting into early power because a lot of the early power mods require you to burn some type of fossil fuel and we're going to have an abundance of coal because when you smelt one raw coal ore from greg tech it gives you two pieces of coal so essentially we have like two lines of coal already it's gonna be really nice well we came out looking for some cows and we found a huge greg tech vein of coal that was really neat sheep over there but i don't guess what i don't need sheep now you spawned at the worst time for me thank you very much i just want cows Ooh, what is this well i hear skeletons below me but i don't know what this is is this one if is this from that zelda mod pack 
Don't know. An ancient tower. I'm gonna... Oh, gosh. There's a Timmy. Hey, man. Little Timmy. Can you... Please... Leave me alone. I just want this waystone, man. Ooh, look at this. Oh, yep. There's the Deku leaf. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, what do we do? Ventium? I guess we'll just get rid of the Ventium here, man. And the sticks. We'll get rid of the sticks. I would like to have this Ender Pearl as well. We'll get rid of the book. Empty map. I would like to see what that has. And for that, we can get rid of the furnaces. Okay. All right, everybody. Say goodbye to that Ender Pearl because I do not come back for that ever. I know I can make a. Yeah, there we go. I can make a glider. But guess what? I don't have any wood. <laughs> I don't have any wood. I just dropped, dropped all my wood off, man. Okay, so this is a moment where we're just gonna. Uh... Boop. Hello, welcome back. It's like we never left, except our inventory is full of stuff. Let's go ahead and sleep. Now, what I will do, just because, like I said, I'm not trying to be some kind of purist or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and claim this village. I don't want any creepers or anything to go wild. I'm also going to chunk load my house. Uh, so if I do have things going in the furnace, they will continue to do that. Go ahead and make some furnaces. Just go ahead and make two. Just put these here. My coal is done. Do I have to cook this? I do. Oh my goodness, it comes out to two coal. Oh my gosh. Do I need redstone for the pipes mod? I do, I do. Okay, I don't have that. Instead, we're just gonna... I guess we'll just mess with regular hoppers for now. Well, I can make a copper hopper. <gasps> the everything copper mod is amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can make a copper furnace. Oh my gosh. Copper, you are a lifesaver. Now, if I set this up, if I set this up like this, and I just... I lead with putting some fuel in. I know I can't open this chest right now, which I should make a barrel. And then I go about this. Then we should be able to... There we go. Okay, so this is working. Yeah, so okay, this is gonna go ahead and cook up all of this coal that we have here. Um, that would be nice. And before I use all of my copper, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm silly. I can't open this now. And that's going to put everything on the ground. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make an ore hammer. Just so we can have one. So I do not forget. And we'll make a we'll make a glider. A paraglider from the paraglider mod. We should have some raw copper here. Okay. So let's see. Boom, boom. We have 13 raw. And now we have 26 copper dust. As you see, one copper dust turns into one ingot. So boom, we doubled our ore. Perfect. Let's go ahead and toss everything away. I might want to make an iron pick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. With the iron we have. And of course, we're going to turn that into a silent gear iron pick. Now what's really nice about making a silent gear iron pickaxe is you can actually repair it with cobblestone. Uh, which is absolutely amazing, especially since I only had three iron ingots. There we go. I don't know what that unequal before and after item counts. Okay, so it was having trouble. It was having trouble sorting. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep here. And the next day, we're going to continue our trek to try and find some cows. I really want to make a sophisticated backpack that's going to make our journey so much easier. It's going to make all of this extra loot we're finding in these looter chests less of an impact on, okay, I need to sacrifice something to keep this. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully finding these damn cows. Oh, there's a little shipwreck over there. Right over there. Go ahead and check that out. <laughs> Sploosh. What have you got for me, sir? A lot of things. Okay. <laughs> well, max health, carrots, rotten flesh. Don't don't really care for that. I will take this barrel. So if you crouch and you break, uh, 
the hell just happened? If you crouch and break a chest from looter, you will get the chest. It will void all of the items that are inside of it, though. So if you have friends, uh, don't do that because you're going to take away all their loot. Ooh, look, the weathered copper stuff. Look at that. That's so neat. More copper. Is it degrade? Forbidden and Arcanus. Oh, we got the iron. We got the other backpacks mod right now. I don't know if this is for us. So like vampiric gloves, huh? Steel. Vibrant alloy. Pulsating alloy. These are from Ender.io. I've used these before. Well, we're going to go ahead and take, uh, take these backpacks here. Okay, so we have we have some uh, room to work with for now. That's cool, I guess. It's something, right? It's something. Now, if you see that dome over there in the distance, that has a ton of skeleton spawners in it, and they have quite good gear from diamond to iron, uh, and they do quite a bit of damage. So I'm gonna avoid exploring that area for now. Oh man, it's getting quite dark. Oh, there's another village over there though. Might, uh, might try to just push through what we could do, actually, since we have our crafting table. Boats. And get on to the water. Oh, this looks so cool. Man, these villages are awesome, man. There's mobs. Goodbye. And you, oh, a zombie brute, you can, uh, not, you stop that. You don't take much knockback, do you? You have extended reach as well, don't you? Goodness, You're messing me up there, bud. Ooh, the gloves. Okay, so these, if you can put in another slot, which is, I believe, down here? Yeah, the bottom one, put the gloves on. There we go, now I have 0.25 attack damage. Oh, they have cows! Well, well, well! I might just let them live and farm these boys. Oh my goodness, you guys have a zombie problem here. Drop your helmet, nice. Okay, this lets me uh, breathe underwater, I think. Well, let's go ahead and sleep so we can murder all these people that are trying to kill me. Okay. Take this bed and... Hello, villagers. Oh, eggs, nice. Man, you know what? This is a nice little area. Go oh, away. Come here. There you go. Goodbye. Okay, Inferium. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to not, I'm going to attempt to not use mystical agriculture as much as possible. Hello. You're a leather worker, huh? You want leather? Oh, can I reroll this, actually? Now, when you find a villager that hasn't been traded with before, in this mod pack, you can reroll their starting trades. So that's what I'm trying to do right here to see if he'll offer me a trade that gives me leather uh, for giving him emeralds. But I stood here for maybe five minutes and I could not get it. <sighs> Screw it. I'm just going to leave you be. Okay. Emerald. Water bucket. Barrel. Okay. This place has some nice little loot. Oh, bread. A blue sword. Okay. Now, if I convert this, do I keep? No, I do not. So I'm not going to convert that then. Now, go ahead. Let me just put all that in there. And your leather tunics. Ooh. Okay, the arcane essence is something that we're going to need later. I know that for sure. Redstone dust. I can make pipes now. Very nice. I'm going to put a waste zone right here. We'll call it the, uh, just Jungle Village. I don't have any names. If you want to name this, let me know, and we'll go ahead and name it. We're going to do a slash home, which we can do every 10 minutes, uh, if you remember. Uh, now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually getting ready to transfer 
as much loot as I can, and I plan on finding somewhere in that area next to that village to start building. I'd like to get all of my loot over there, and I'd like to actually start making a permanent home, or at least somewhere that we're going to stay for a long period of time. Okay, we have two waystones now, so we can start moving things this jungle village. So I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to see what things are like, and... Maybe we'll decide to build, because look at that nice little tower over there. That looks neat. It'd be nice to have in the backdrop, yeah? And it's by the ocean, which I do prefer, so we might make, the, make this work. So, oh, and we have a lava pool over here. That's cool as well. Okay, this might be the area. And there's a desert over there, if you see it on the map. I go to where I am. There's a desert here. This might, uh, this could turn out well. For now, we might just go ahead and build up on this hill, and we will terraform the area as we go. Tunnels and bridges up and down, and there's melons. Okay, well, I've confirmed it, guys. We have to build here. It is, it's actually a requirement um, that we build here because of the melons. Yep, 100%, it is required. Right here, we'll just put some barrels here so I can just drop some loot off. And then we'll get to doing a little bit of terraforming. And I'll put my I'll put my bed down here as well. Alright, let's let's get to it. Now while I'm terraforming, I just want to say thank you so much for watching up until now. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. If you have any suggestions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them below. I really do appreciate you checking out the video. And I look forward to providing more videos in the future. Now, let's get back to it. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh, clean this area that I'm in real quick, shall we? I don't want to get creepered. Chunk loaded as well. Hello, chicken. I would like to keep you. I'm going to go ahead. Oh my goodness, can I please not run out of inventory space? I don't know if these guys blow up on me, but I'm going to get rid of them. Because uh, anything that says creeper, I don't want to deal with. We're going to make some jungle gates. Gate for jungle fence gate. Jungle fence. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Just, just, you know, for good measure. Just build a fenced in area five boom boom and we'll just build this quickly for these chicken 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 come here chicken come over here buddy come on there you go yeah you, you just you just stay in there you just he's just a little guy he's just a little guy okay let's go ahead and make a shovel it's a wooden shovel but that's okay that real quick. No. No. No! Come back here. I just wanted your egg. Okay. So we're continuing to terraform this area just a little bit to start out. I don't want to do too much, but I would like to have at least some space to work with starting out. So I think we'll stick at this level here. Um, we'll place down some place down some blocks as needed. Uh, but ultimately, ultimately, I would like to keep this almost as natural as possible until we get to the point where we need to make some big changes for like machinery and stuff. Oh, there's a honeyed archer over there. Nice. Oh, hell. That's an unfortunate spawn for me. Right at night, he just said, yeah, I'm going to ruin this whole man's career. 
and then you didn't realize that I was him. Oh, look at that luck. Look at that. Very nice. I'm never that lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna collect our dirt here, and we're just gonna boop, 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 boop. We're gonna put away what we can, and probably go over to the village. And I might try to drag the cows over here. I think that'd be a good idea. So I went ahead and cleared out my backpacks, stored away most of my loot, so I could come back here, grab more of my loot and finally start moving it over to where I want to build my new house. The plan, like I mentioned before, is to drag the cows using some wheat from the village over to where I have the chicken pinned up, and then I'll just continue to breed them until I get some leather so I can move forward with the sophisticated backpack, because I love that mod so much. Where's all my wheat? Did I put it in one of the backpacks? I did not. I had... Quite a bit of wheat at some point. There's some wheat right here. Perfect. Okay, so I can use this. Oh, it's not grown yet. Um, okay, let's go over here. And these are done. I'm just gonna... Can I? I can. Nice. Okay. We have wheat. Alrighty. Cows, I'm gonna make you come with me. We're gonna take this lodestone as well. We're gonna move that to our base. Let's eat these potatoes. A nice little pasture you guys got going on. Cows, come on. Let's go. Hold on, we gotta make a detour real quick. Eat this copper. Alright, continue. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, we got to pick up some sheep along the way. Look at this. We got the whole squad laughing. I am the animal whisperer. I know what these guys want. It's wheat. Who would have guessed? Don't get lost, bud. Is this... Oh, my bad, dude. My bad, folks. Hey, come on. We're getting all crazy. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, me. Yes, you. Come on. Make some sticks. Hey, cow. Come on. Come up here. You make a jungle gate. Need to chop this. That. Okay. Come on. All of y'all. Come on. Get in here. Oh, come on now. Y'all, y'all chicken don't be like that. Stay in here. Stay in here. Get out of my way. Come on, cow. Oh my goodness, one of these sheep has to go. It's you. Come on. Come on. Get in here. Stay in there. Chickens. Where are you going? Come hither. I need my... Fences. I had, I had hay bales over here this whole time. Gosh. Mm. It's so annoying. Well, that's okay. We'll just make some more. Come on now. Need some dirt. Probably going to move these bad boys later, but... For now, I just want to have something to hold these bad boys in. Chickens, come hither, come on. Okay, you guys stay in there. 
you folks. Goodbye. No. Cows. Breed. Little baby cow. Little baby cow. Oh, look at that. Look at who look who it is. So before we end, let's see what you got. Nothing. You ain't got shit. Now, I have way more footage than I actually thought. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode right here. On the next episode, we'll continue to move all of our loot over. That includes the copper furnace, all of the coal ore, everything like that. And then we'll start building a, you know, a nice little base for us. So to close out, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching and continuing to watch up until this point. I look forward to providing more videos for you guys. If you've enjoyed the video up to this point, feel free to give it a like if you enjoyed it. If not, feel free to tell me why. Continuing with that, if you want to see more from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see when I upload my next video. I hope all of you take care, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.